I feel really lucky to have found stunts, or it found me, I'm not sure which way. When I first moved here, I went into an open gym to just play around, and uh, there were some people in their training. They had this excitement and passion and amazing talent to tell a story through action. It was like, you guys do this for a living? This is the coolest job ever. <laughs> I was nominated roughly 10 years ago for Alias, and, and again, there were such amazing shows, and at that time, there was just one category, not two. And then to come in and, and win with GLOW is, it's a very empowering of all the times to do it, is to do it on such a female, heavy, driven show. Stunts always need to move the story along, and they need to tell their own story. If, the, if they're not helping the basic underlying tone of the whole thing, then it's just a, an explosion for an explosion. Each time we get stunts in any show, but especially say GLOW, we'll start it and it's like, okay, where, what are these characters and what is the story we're trying to tell? I did a lot of research as far as 80s, I did a lot of research as far as wrestling and what is what is period appropriate. So you're trying to push the envelope of what we can do to make it look awesome and draw the, the audience in, but at the same time keep it where you don't go, oh, they didn't do that move until 2010. It's sitting down with the director and going, what's your vision for this? What do you want to see happen? And then going, okay, we can do that. Let's figure out how to make it happen. Or these ideas can even enhance that. So a lot of times with stunts, you live in that world every day, so you actually may have other ideas that people haven't tried or thought of. So it's finding the right, when you have the right moments in the collaboration to go, you were thinking this, but we could give you this. And, and working on it together to, to build that. You know, on GLOW we have, we have 15 actresses and we get them for a month before and we get to train them. And from season one to season two, we started our month and within two weeks, they were already where we had ended season one. And we just kind of went, holy crud, these girls pick up so fast and the muscle memory, it was just astonishing, I was so proud. So for the next two weeks, we got to just add on and add on and add on and add on all these new skills. And you're trying to set it because you don't know what's gonna come down the pipe in episode three or four or five. So you're setting those up so when they come, you can kind of just, it's like, the crayons in the crayon box. You can just start to pull out the red and then here we need this one, here's the green. You know, you kind of try to build it as much as you can. And then in six, we had the montage and we had a heads up that that was coming. So we started building each woman's best favorite skills. The funny thing is, is most of the girls didn't get to train together for that montage because they're all shooting. So we would get one or two all different times of the day. So they didn't know what the other ones were doing. So now they're all in the stands watching and then Brittany Young would do this great move with Kate Nash and everybody in the stands, all the other actresses were like, what, oh my gosh. I don't know if I do. Wait, hold on, okay. <laughs> really push and ask a lot of our actresses. We're, we want it to be them and we want it on their faces. But to do those moves repeatedly is hard and you're getting into bigger and bigger moves. So as the coordinator, you sit there on that line going, I feel 100% confident that they can, but at the same time, you don't want to see them get tweaked or sore or anything. So you walk that line every time of going, how much and how hard do we push and then when do you pull back? It all in stunts all comes to the team that surrounds you. You know, I mean, you get to work with great people and your life is in their hand and vice versa, their life is in your hand at times. So it's a trust and um, I think that's why it becomes a family very quickly um, because it's one of the few jobs that you're risking your life almost a lot of the times when you go to work. The, the stunt riggers get so little credit for what they do. Um, I'll step in and do this 200 foot descender and everybody is odd and it looks amazing and you know you get all the credit in reality the five guys back there that rigged it that set it up that tested it that did weight bags that did everything to get it ready before I could ever step in are the true heroes that made it look amazing I love my job I love telling a story whether I am getting the opportunity to direct it, to coordinate it, to perform it, to teach it, whatever it is, that action that saves the day, I get to be a part of, I get to collaborate and bring it to life.